we look at interactive advertising and video, one of the most important things is to understand what you're trying to achieve and to nail that. So what's the value proposition for the consumer? Are you trying to, what are you trying to communicate to her? And if you provide an interactive element to be really clear about exactly what it is, she will be getting as a result of acting on that. Using Volvo as an example, they had a brilliant branding campaign, beautiful, creative, but they wanted to see how much further down the funnel they could engage the consumer. So we worked with Roku and looked at how you might use your Roku device to interact with several different elements in that campaign. So it let you as a consumer identify, is it safety that's important to you? Is it mileage? How might we bring you down the funnel based on what's important to you? And then we gave the consumer the option to in fact enter their phone number so that they might receive a direct text message. And 6% of the people who got to that point actually entered their telephone number to be able to get a direct message to bring them into the showroom. Volvo received double digit sales growth as a result of that. So doing interactive really well can absolutely drive business outcomes. Yes, brands have come to us and said, we are so excited about connected TV, but one of the big challenges we have is we can't see reach and frequency between linear TV and connected TV. And we want it to be an incremental audience, not a duplicative one. We set about solving that challenge on their behalf and partnered with Roku, with whom we've been working for over five years already, and look to be able to provide a real-time reach and frequency solution that can show linear versus connected TV and the duplication of that audience. So using Roku's ACR data and the Innovid campaign that we're delivering on behalf of that advertiser, we're able to provide that in a near real time basis. So it's a major step forward. It's the equivalent of the man landing on the moon. It doesn't mean we've conquered all of space yet, but it is the first major leap forward in this measurement challenge that we have to be able to show brands a clear view across their entire video ecosystem. Personalization in an OTT environment is here and now. And the quality of that personalization is really dependent on what first party data the brand or the broadcaster might be able to provide. The partnership we've developed with Channel 4 is a terrific example of where to create something new and unique for Alien, we were able to use first party data that Channel 4 could provide, be able to identify first names and incorporate that into a voiceover for the campaign. So literally in the middle of each ad, we were able to scream out, Tim, get out and talk about an incredible way to be able to grab the person's attention. So I would say that's a wonderful example of how to create a more personal experience that really resonates with the consumer and leverages the brand building capability that exists in video and partners it with something unique and very special from a personalization perspective.